You want to see something surprising? If I take a circle with radius 1, its area simplifies to pi. But let's think of circles as two-dimensional balls and as area as a two-dimensional sort of volume of the second dimension. And see how that compares to higher dimensions versions of balls if they had a radius of 1 and their version of volumes. Well, in the third dimension, we get regular volume. And if I had a ball with radius 1, its volume would be that. And in the fourth dimension, a hyperball with a radius 1 would have a hypervolume of a bit more. And as we go forward, we get more and then less. And it starts shrinking. And by the time we're at a 13-dimensional hyperball with radius 1, its 13-dimensional version of volume is less than 1.